G'day everybody, welcome back to our playthrough of Valheim on this very, very stormy and miserable day. Uh, but I am celebrating, guys, because Modo has been defeated in the previous episode. Super stoked, uh, but that does mean that we're going to have to make a massive commitment to the house. Uh, not that I don't really want to, it's just that, well, you know, uh, there's going to be a lot of building to be done and uh, a lot of sort of finessing of the space. Uh, I am not 100% confident that uh, we're going to have a place that looks really, really nice, but we'll try our best, right? So uh, we've already started with the wall of the next room, uh, well, half of it anyway. And uh, it is looking a little bit wonky on this side, to be honest, and I'm not entirely sure how we're going to fix that exactly, but I think it's going to have to do. Uh, so let's continue on with the other side of this, and hopefully we can make a space that sort of makes sense. <laughs> uh, I, I think I, I use uh, make sense very, very loosely here. Because uh, I I'm not really keeping my hopes up too much with being able to make uh, a really nice looking space. But again, I'm, I'm trying my best at uh, trying to make a circular structure. And for the life of me, guys, I still haven't been able to find the right trick to, you know, get things to clip through properly um yeah it's a uh, it's a little bit of a toughie there we go okay so that seemed to work there that time at least uh thank goodness for that uh all right so we're probably gonna need to lower the soil a little bit here let's go ahead and do that and yeah so if you guys are looking for action in this episode well uh <laughs> i'm sorry to say but there's probably not going to be a lot of action uh, in this episode, or the coming episodes for that matter, unless we get attacked, which could be likely. Uh, and now that Motor's defeated, I assume we could start seeing uh, attacks from the next uh, biome, which scares me, actually, because um, we had a very small encounter with creatures uh, in the uh, in the plains and they were pretty hard to deal with <laughs> um, hopefully we'll be able to uh, you know defend our house appropriately or easily um, okay so are we happy with what we've got here? I mean, I don't really know. I guess it's really going to come down to uh, how we join up the uh, the entire space together with the house that's already completed. But uh, anyway, should we sort of figure out how high this thing is going to go? I guess that's maybe the best thing to do for now. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, something like that and yeah we're gonna need more stone already so let's go ahead and find some more stone okay we're carrying too much apparently uh, let's let go of that have another sausage Sort of makes me wonder what kind of sausages were Vikings eating back in the day. Um, I guess maybe they would have had wild boars or something like that available to them. Uh, so maybe just straight up boar sausages with some spices and stuff. Doesn't sound too bad, actually. I don't know if Vikings would have eaten, like, blood sausage, like, uh, 
those in England and Ireland and Scotland I suppose maybe you guys there might eat those types of things as well not a fan I must say <laughs> um, all right so do we want to do that and then that and then yeah I think that's correct I think that's what we need to do for these corners okay Now the real question as well is how high I want this to go up to. Uh, arguably we could keep the uh, the roof around about the same height and uh, that might not be a bad idea so maybe we don't want to go even higher than what we've already currently set up here. Um, or do we? Hmm, maybe it's a little bit too early to think about doing that just yet. Maybe let's just focus on getting the, uh, the second layer completed. There we go. Okay, so second layer is almost completed. We just need to sort of figure out how to sort of finish things off with the uh, corner here. I think that looks good. Maybe we'll replicate the same thing on this side. Okay, not bad. Now, do we want to go one more layer up? I, again, I think I don't want that because we'll have pieces of our wall jutting out. I think this is the right height if we're going to keep the roof uh, at the same level, if that makes sense. So, uh, I guess it would be about, fig you know, us figuring out uh, how high the floor needs to be here. Maybe we need to go lower uh, in this area. And maybe we need to put more brick underneath like that. Uh, so if that's sort of the idea that we want... Maybe what I could do is do something like that and then we can try to level things from here. Probably going to need to dig. That's fine. We'll do that. Yeah, it's looking pretty messy with the way we've done things here, but, uh, hey, it's alright. It's not like I, I go into these with, like, a massive amount of planning or anything like that. I sort of just jump in and see what happens, you know. Although I've been seeing a lot of YouTube tutorials with a lot of, uh, I guess, quote-unquote, pro-builders where uh, people are building like really realistic looking roofs that, you know, hang off of the the actual uh, sides of the building, which would have been nice. Uh, I guess I would have to disassemble everything and start from scratch if I really wanted to do that, but uh, I, I guess I'm going to be content with what I have currently, you know.
Why? Because, well, I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure as well if it makes for the greatest content uh, to be redoing a whole bunch of construction all the time. Uh, I feel like, I don't know, I feel a bit of pressure to try and make some progress, you know, in these episodes. I don't want to waste your time trying to figure things out too much, you know. Now we could also be putting like a, a stone floor in here as well, but um, maybe they'll come a little bit later. Uh, we need a way to try and get out of here. Uh, maybe simply a way into the house might be better. Uh, and maybe the same thing from here actually, so we don't have to worry about um, going outside all the time. Just a temporary thing, you know. Let's have a sleep. Uh, we probably do need to think about cooking some more food. Alright. Uh, yeah, we don't have a stamina food, so... Let's see if we can sort that out first. Do we have anything stored up? Well, we've got ice creams if we really wanted to use those, but... I think we can just go back to using our onions for onion soup. Seems pretty cheap. Uh, and we should actually go back to the farm. Check out what's going on with our farm and, you know, make sure that we've got the next batch of whatever growing okay I'll just keep that there yeah let's go ahead and check on the farm Ready? Yeah, I think they are. Okay, good. More onion soups. Uh, I should actually also get a fermenter going in the new place. Don't exactly have a fermenter. Alright, so... Oh no, okay, I... Uh, <laughs> and here I am thinking the best thing to do is to keep our cultivator at the new house. And I keep forgetting to actually bring it with us. Just tidy that up a little bit, guys, just so that we're not sort of walking into the fire as soon as we come out of the portal. Um, Alright, so... Cultivator. There we go.
Alright, so we've got a few seconds left on the deer stew. Now, I'm sort of thinking about whether or not I really need to eat a couple of sources of HP type foods. Uh, I want to see if I can actually get rid of, sorry, not uh, get rid of, get away with um, just eating one HP food for the time being. Since we're just doing building and stuff. If we get attacked, I'll quickly eat something uh, to get our uh, HP bar up and uh, defend. But I don't think it's entirely necessary for us to be super prepared. Okay, so, uh, can't grow carrots, we don't have the seeds. Actually, let's grab spare seeds. So, carrots and... Turnips, more onion seeds. Okay, let's do it. Um, do carrots on this side. Oh, okay. Sulfur in the air. Right. Uh, I don't think they're going to be too difficult to deal with, but let's eat. Uh, they probably can't even get into the structure, to be honest. But anyway, let's let's fight them. Who knows? We might be able to get like a, a nice settling or two. Very good. Definitely can see the settlings there as well. That's nice. Um, I mean, I'm not entirely sure how effective these guys might be at taking down the uh, the wall that we've set up because it is made from wood. Assuming they do fire damage, then I would assume that the wood would burn down pretty quickly. Okay, and that's the attack done. Not too much of an issue. Okay. Let's just make sure that everything's in full repair here on the outside. Uh, we don't exactly have space to actually pick up a lot of those settling cores, but I think once we're done with uh, all of the farming, I think we should be okay to pick them up. Alright, looking good. Uh, let's get our new crops in here, starting with onions. Again, gonna go heavy on the onions. Something like that. Let's go turnips.
and carrots. Good times. Okay. So, uh, time to put all of our seeds back. And do I want to leave the cultivator here? I mean, <laughs> might be a good idea because, let's face it, uh, I keep forgetting about the cultivator and leaving it at the new house when we don't even have a, ha uh, a farm going on there. So, uh, I think everything's looking good over here. Let's leave. Oh, actually, sorry, my bad. Uh, we do need to pick up these settling cores. Let's grab all of those because having spare settling cores will be nice. Uh, let's grab all of that. Don't need that. Uh, okay, so apparently we're carrying too much stuff. Let's get rid of some wood. Okay, I like it. We can always find more wood elsewhere, so that's fine. I'm not uh, too fussed. Radio. Um, what to do with all these boars? I mean, we could slaughter them all. Uh, or they can just live out their lives there in confinement. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's a, a nice alternative. Anyway. So, uh, now that we're done with the farm, let's actually just organize our pantry for a little bit. And then we'll continue with building. We've got a lot of carrots, a lot of turnips. Um, got a lot of coal as well from that fight before. Maybe I'll load the coal up here. May as well. Okay, that looks good. Just drop our spare coals in here and settling cores. I think we can just leave it in here. Got quite a bit of a collection now. Right, so we got plenty of stone in hand still. Let's continue working on our storage facility or storage room uh, maybe I, I can just focus on putting these pieces in yeah that looks good Looks good. Keep going. Alright, and one more piece here. This might be a little bit tricky. Might need to be something that we do from the outside. Oh, uh, we need the stone cutter to be a little bit closer. Okay, that will have to do.
We're getting there, guys. Tiny little bit more. Uh, same issue here. I think we're going to need to be on the outside to try and fix this. Okay, that looks decent. Alright. Now, uh, it's a matter of trying to get the, uh, the soil to fit uh, exactly as we want it. Uh, I am going to actually, you know, have a stone floor in this space as well, so it's not like we need to go too crazy making things really, really flat. Uh, in fact, maybe it might be a good idea to get the stone floor in first. So how do we do that? I mean, I'm not entirely sure if that's going to work. But let's just start with that and then now we should be able to sort of flatten things a little bit easier. And we need to start thinking about how we're going to go into this space. Do a, f uh, a few more floors. See where the floors get up to. I have to get rid of that piece there. All right, all right, all right. That doesn't look too bad. Uh... Question is, how do I want to access this room? Do I want to access it from here? Or do I want to access it from somewhere else? Uh, actually, stone stairs might not be a good idea here because we've only got a wooden floor underneath us. So I'm thinking we probably do need uh, a wooden floors, or sorry, wooden stairs.
Okay, so that's the entryway that we're going for. As to how we actually connect it, that's going to be a little bit tricky. Yeah, okay. Maybe something like that. And maybe, maybe it's okay if we sort of have a, sort of like an entry point going in from both sides. Okay, looks decent, but I think we're going to have to sleep through this. Just uh, get a little bit more light. Try and keep working on this project. Okay, so... Uh, do I want to keep this here? Maybe, maybe it might not be such a bad idea to block this off and just have, you know, the entryway coming in from our room. Maybe it might be a little bit more secure, you could argue. Um, Alright, so looking decent. Let's just continue to work on getting the floor right. Get rid of that and... Okay. Can get rid of that as well. Uh, let's... Maybe just set something up like so, just in case we need to go out from here. Um, let's get our floor in. I mean, some of this floor might be jutting out. Um, I'm hoping to just cover it with soil, basically, so we don't have to, we don't even need to see it, basically. We'll pretend like, like it's not a problem. That, that doesn't look good at all. My bad. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, that is a real problem. Hmm. We might have to come back to that problem a little bit later. Okay. And we're missing stone, so... I'm gonna have to go fetch that. Let's quickly do so. Okay, and I think that's our last batch of stone. We're gonna have to mine some stone uh, when we need it, so... That's our last bit of stone. Um, that's a little janky, isn't it? Yeah, again, same corners that we have the problems at. We might have to deal with that from the outside. We might actually have to play around with the soil levels and fix it that way. Um, right, so we've got this little gap here. I'm not sure if we're going to use more stone floors, or if we're going to actually plug it with uh, just normal brick walls. Uh, regardless, though, we're going to need to source some stone. Uh, do we want to start working on the roof? Maybe I shouldn't rush into the roof just yet. Um, how do we want to go into this place as well? I mean, that's a good question. Maybe just a normal door might do the trick. Yeah. Uh, kind of janky. <laughs> unless, unless... Uh, we want to do the door here. And then, sort of, we need to wall things off. Yeah, that might work better. Uh, how we're going to wall things off around this side, I'm not entirely sure just yet, but uh, I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. So, let me just have a nice rest in front of the fire here. Get our comfort levels up a little bit more. Get a 12 or 13 minute rested buff. Uh, and then we'll see about getting all of that stone that we need. There we go, 13 minutes. All right, uh, that doesn't lead down. Okay, so. Um, we could also do with making this place look a little bit nicer, uh, and more central, possibly, but again, I'm not entirely sure how we're going to do that with snapping and all that sort of stuff. The snapping in this game is, uh, yeah, a, a little bit difficult to deal with. Oh, we've got a troll nearby. How pleasant. 
Um, we want to try and fight that troll because I'm not a big fan of trolls being so close to the house. Let's do it. Let's get rid of him. Okay, easy. Um, a little bit of cash there. Let's actually put stuff away first before we go. Uh, I need to maximize our weight here for stones. Running a little low on uh, arrows. Might need to think about getting some more. Right. Um, money. And troll hides, which I think we've got too much of. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure where we're keeping all of our troll hides. Maybe still uh, back at the old home, but we'll just leave it there for now. Uh, anything else we can let go of? That's weighing us down. This is okay, we need that. Um, seeds. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, maybe the, the healing potion can go. Radio. So, where can we find more stones? I am thinking maybe around this side. Let's hope for the best. Alternatively, I could go back to the mountains and search for like silver and stuff and, you know, try and sail back with silver. Uh, in the process, you would get stones. Uh, yes, I uh, have also just remembered, but we do need to go back to the stones and we actually need to leave motors uh, or a trophy of motor uh, on one of the stones to try and get a new power. So uh, probably not this episode, guys. I'm a little bit busy and distracted with the house. But I reckon maybe that's what we'll do in the next episode. Just check out what kind of uh, new powers that we can obtain. Uh, should I grab Thistle? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe don't need Thistle just yet. I don't know. Something that might help with mining could be pretty good as well. But I don't know. Ichthyr and the buff that Ichthyr provides just seems really, really good overall you know you're always running around everywhere so that's why i've been using it pretty much throughout the game it was only that one time i feel like i didn't use it there for a while
There we go. Alright. How are we looking for... Wait. 419. We can still keep going. Uh, should I get this rock? Or should I cross and try and get a few rocks from the other side? Maybe I'll cross for now. Yeah, actually I should be getting our resourcing portal back up and running as well. Four, four, nine. Okay. Time to head back, I think. I think we do actually have a portal for the stones, if I'm not mistaken. So hopefully we'll be able to just connect there with the uh, the trophy and hang it pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, I was sort of saying that the motor trophy sort of looks really cool and I would like to have a motor trophy sitting around um, in our house, but Oh no, we've got more stones here. I forgot about those stones. <laughs> oh well, uh, we've got extra stones now. Uh, we're gonna need them anyway, guys. I guarantee you. I guarantee you we're gonna need more stones. Alright, so. Uh, let's maybe try to fix the floor first. So, I'm opting for just doing something like this, and then maybe joining the floor a tiny little bit more from below. Yeah, okay, so that... Okay, no, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Um, I think that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, okay, that, that looks correct. And then I'll want to do that, but then we'll sort of cover it with stone uh, and soil. Okay, we need one more spot covered over this side, so let's try and fix that. You know, I might actually move that uh, and we'll see if we can uh, put that in the structure. Alright, so... Again, I have no idea, guys, if this is the most efficient way of doing things, but... It feels like the only way I know how to do it. Uh, which doesn't look super ugly. Speaking of ugly, there's still the matter of the, uh, the boar pen that looks horrendous. Um, I might actually fix what we've got going on here as well, because, uh, doesn't exactly look very nice, is it? There we go. 
slightly less of a problem. Um, okay, so now the question is whether or not we can cover all of this with soil. Because if we can't, that's also a problem. Brilliant. Okay. That's what we want. Um, a little bit of soil sort of sticking in here, but we'll fix that later. Um, okay, so. Next problem is what are we going to do with the gap over this side? Uh... Yeah, there's a very, very small gap that I can see here if we put a 2x1. And so I'm thinking we probably need more of these pieces. Something like that. I don't think that's going to be sticking out. Yeah, okay, cool. So it's clipping through, but it's not sticking out in the actual building, and that is fine by me. Um, so let's do that, and let's do that as well. Hmm, okay, actually that might be a problem. Maybe we go with these first. Okay, that looks decent. Okay, we've got a little bit of clipping there. Um, are we... Are we not happy with that or can we make it work somehow I mean that doesn't look too bad if you think about it Yeah, I think we might be able to work with that. And we can sort of use this a little sort of uh, indentation, if you will. This little nook here for stuff, like decorations and stuff. Um, again, <laughs> I haven't really gotten into decorations or anything like that uh, in this playthrough too much. But uh, you never know, it might happen at some point. <laughs> um, Alright, so... Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. Um, just trying to think here. Do we... Do we do something like that? Instead. Then we do that. Yeah, that doesn't look bad either. I think that could be the way to go. So we just need a replicate that. Um, okay. Anyway, let's get this piece in. Okay. Just double check that that's not 
causing us a problem there. My goodness, this guy does not let up, does he? Alright, I shouldn't really worry. He's probably never going to get through. Um, okay. So... Next thing is we need to sort of fix up what's going on here. Uh, so let's get this piece in first, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. And now I just need to go outside and do a little bit of digging. It is a little bit hard to see, but... Something like that, I assume, is what we need for that corner. And something very similar on this side. Might do the trick. Let's just check back inside. Yeah, okay. I think it's uh, fixed up. Time to actually have a sleep because I do need a little bit more light to work with here. I do hear the sound of my pigs sort of going a little bit crazy there. I'm not entirely sure what's up, but let's just check. They might actually be frightened or something like that. They've got uh, maybe gray dwarves or something like that in the area. Okay, so things are looking decent here. Uh, I think it's just a matter of covering some of the soil. Uh, do we actually have rocks? Yes, we do. Okay, good. Alright, good times. So, we could probably do with a little bit more of a tidy up of uh, the soil around the structure, but I'm not going to worry right now about that. Um, I think now that the uh, the floor is fixed, I think we can move on to thinking about uh, how to fix the uh, the wall back there. Uh, I am also wanting entryways into storage from the outside. Uh, so it mustn't just be uh, entryways from the inside because if we need stuff I want to be able to access stuff pretty quickly. Um, now the idea as well is the horde is attacking. What? Oh god. Alright. Um... Guys, are, are we even ready for this? So are these guys going to do heaps of damage to our... Okay.
Um, I, I am I'm terrified, guys, and uh, oh, I better eat. Oh no. Um what on earth? Oh, so much damage. Oh my god, guys. Okay, uh, let's fight these guys, because they are going to get through, no matter what, I think. Alright. Um, again, I have no idea how we're going to fight these guys off. Guys, Raid Wars, we're friends now, right? Let's... Get you to, you know, help out, uh, help us out here, because, uh... Oh my god. Alright, so they've got, like, some sort of shield thing going. We've got the fooling berserkers. They're almost like trolls, even. Worse than trolls. Am I safe here? Probably not. Okay, so much for a peaceful episode where we build. Um, these guys, man. Uh, I'm gonna be out of arrows soon as well, I've got six left. Okay, we've got no choice. But to face these guys head on, I think. Okay, these Berserkers, they hit so hard.
All right, let's let's try this. All right, okay. Oh my god! What do we get from these guys? Money. Okay. I mean, black metal scrap. Okay, we've seen that before. I think. Did we pick up silver from these guys? Or did I... No, I think I picked up some silver as we were scrambling. Oh, what the hell is this thing? Maybe some kind of a shaman. So these black metal scraps we won't be able to teleport with either, so I guess I need to be a little bit careful about that. So this fooling shaman, he's got his little like shield thing. Um, we're gonna have to figure out how to deal damage to it. I guess he does take a while to cast that. Uh, when it does run out, so... <laughs> Ow. Oh my god. Yeah, now's our chance. Oh my god, alright. Guys. <laughs> the planes. The planes is gonna be so difficult to deal with. I can already tell. Alright, we, we held them off though, that was decent. I am a little bit scared though, because... It seemed like it didn't take them very long at all uh, to try and get through uh, our walls. So I'm thinking we need thicker walls now. Do we not have 50 stones? No, we do not. Okay. My goodness, that was an ordeal, wasn't it? Just chuck that, uh, maybe here? Alright guys. Well, um, I think we're going to be calling it an episode here. That was really messy and a bit of a taste of what's to come. I'm uh, lying if I said that I am looking forward to it because, I mean, that was tough. Um, maybe a double layer wall might be needed uh, and that might be part of the considerations of this build. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, I think we were very, very productive though this episode. The uh, storage silo is coming along, and coming along quite nicely, I might add. Uh, we just need to get that um, sort of dividing wall sorted, uh, and then we'll start thinking about how to, uh, I guess, drop the roof down over this thing. Uh, and that's probably going to be a, a huge challenge in itself, but uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge uh, soon enough. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Leave a like, a dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you guys in the next one.